Hey guys, Jake from Evolving Daily. If you're listening to this on my stuff, uh, if it's on YouTube, there's obviously no video because we screwed up the video for this one. The next couple, I think there are. And this podcast, we're not really talking about much gun stuff, just catching up. But it leads into the next two or three drunken podcasts of the night, so stick around and we'll get to the gun shooty shooty bang bang type stuff. Like my first keto shit today which is unfortunate because now tomorrow's thanksgiving so it's no big deal if it's only been a few it's not i i'm haven't i'm not going to stall my weight loss or but I, like i was finally getting into the swing of right and slightly intermittent because not eat till noon or ish or so right now you're gonna have Mashed potatoes and rolls and macaroni and cheese and gravy and, 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 and. For three or four days. Oh, I'm going to have it tomorrow. Oh, by the way, so this is one thing that I've been tossing around in my brain space. Oh, there's a burp that's so red. Those Trulies make for weird burps. Oh, you burp hard. Well, but it's, it's been there for half an hour and I still get out baby little. And you still go. (gasps) You still do that, and then, uh, and it just never, it never fully develops. Like a beer, a beer burp, I, I agree, will eventually make you just go like, if I, for like 30 seconds. If I went hard on like a half a Coca-Cola right now, game over, there'd be, there would be chunks. Go hard on one of these. I've been drinking. That's like a Coca-Cola. I'm telling you, I'm at the point where I've got... And I haven't even been drinking. You're full. Maybe in the last month and a half, I've drank three times, and never to completion. What are you? What are you waiting on? I just, I just don't fucking drink that often. <laughs> but <laughs> did you figure out what? Uh, are you on your fire hat account or? I'm on the one that's. Facebook, the one that's a 15-year-old picture of me with a hat on. No beard. I mean, a little bit of a beard. Just a hat, not a fire hat. You're just talking like a a ball cap. Yeah. See? Oh, crap. It's been so long since I did this shit, I don't even know how to share it with things and other stuff. So you are agreeing with the the overall consensus that if you don't use it you lose it you lose it um anyhow had my first keto is shit today and then now it's going to hell tomorrow <laughs> which brings up thanksgiving and cooking and all that shit and i cook i like to cook you like to fucking cook once upon a time i used to anyhow um i've been thinking just the last week. I've got all these old recipes that like my grandma and people from our church and all that just picked up as I was a kid or whatever. Yeah. But they're all really basic. And I'm thinking about in my little uh, cookbook, not like the one I keep around the house. I think we can get rid of these. It says on the readout though that we're a little low. I'm going to turn them up just a hair. Anyhow, like a regular, the standard meat and potatoes that I usually do. And then I'm thinking about spicing up the same recipe, putting some weird goofy shit in it, and see how it rolls out. Are you? It's overplayed and oversaid and overdone, but a little bit of the umami flavor, like the... What is it, the Earth, seventh flavor? The, the earthy and the... Y- it's like it's a, there's sweet, spicy, salty, blah, 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 and then umami yeah. or um, what the fuck ever. But that, but in my recipes. So are you doing like a main course or are you doing uh, a side or two? This is work county. You should know this. Everything is sides. <laughs> yeah, everything's a fucking casserole or a... <laughs> Everything I know how to cook is a covered dish. Yeah, covered like covered dish version. Yeah. Potluck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can make the meat, which 
By the way, there's some smoked. Tell me again. You can. There is some smoked uh, pork shoulder in the fridge if you get a hankering. Some pork. Sh- Which. How did. Smoked. Okay. I really. Uh, my uh, There are two things that consist for me right now for meat. And that's. Well, Salt? Four. No. I'm talking styles. Oh, There's okay. four. Cast iron. Tasty. Oh, shit. What the fuck are you doing? I don't know. I was trying to connect. Calling me on Facebook? Smoked, grilled, cast iron, and insider. That's the only four options. That's why I had to change it to four instead of three. Insider oh. being the fourth. <laughs> okay. But like... Baked? Hmm. I don't know a good other than maybe baked steak. And I've never tried to do it well. I've only had it the way it was delivered to me. Oh, like old ass flour during, fried during school bake it and gravy. Salisbury fucking yeah. steak it up. Yeah, yeah. Which no, I'm no, sure no, no, you no. could do that well. Oh, fuck I'm yeah. sure there's a way yeah, to yeah, do yeah. it well. Um But I don't really fry meat. I don't really bake meat. I don't really grill in a r or uh cook in a regular pan yeah you're more it's cast iron smoked grilled yeah you're you're more uh and for the record salt heat kind yeah. of a yeah i didn't get on the bandwagon of smoking meat in the last what do you say three five years that it's blown up and everybody thinks they can fucking smoke meat when i was probably five years yeah Seven, eight years old, we had a smoker and smoked whole deer hams. Like, that's. I don't like jumping on the band. That's the same reason I hate the fucking Patriots and the Steelers. Because when I was in high school, they got good and everybody jumped on the bandwagon, and that just sours it for me. I would say the Patriots were in that time frame. You're forgetting I'm four years behind you, and that's when Roethlisberger stepped in, and they got good. Fuck Roethlisberger. Steelers have been a Stapleton since, like, the 70s. Yeah, the Iron Curtain and all that. Yeah, I get that. that, Steel Curtain. Fuck off. What the fuck ever? Iron Curtain's Russia? Something? I think that I should be be. a better historian. (laughs) Steel Curtain. But anyhow. But fucking... They, they're an off-and-on good team, like 20 other teams. Like all the fucking 36 teams. Mm, not the Bengals and Browns and no. Dolphins. <clears throat> and I'm a Bengals fan. Well, they've been a consistently no shit team. Consistently, the Bengals, 7 out of 10 years, start out the first five games like 3 and 5, and like, man, they could actually put on a winning season. Maybe make a little run, and then all of a sudden, here comes the gagging. Drive for show, putt for dough. I don't know what the fuck golf lingo that is, but yeah. They start out real good, and then a couple guys will get arrested on some bullshit (laughs) cocaine trafficking charges. Adam Pac-Man Jones. Odell Thurman. Odell Thurman, (laughs) number 51, a linebacker in like circus 2010. Circus? Yep. That's my boy. Donnie Baker. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) But anyhow, dude, he was fucking, he was going to be the at least defensive rookie of the year. Guaranteed. Then he gets pulled over with a few pounds of coke. And all of a sudden, he's got to get suspended. You shoot two or three motherfuckers in a dance club. Oh, my Lanta. Sounds like Plaxico Burris. Oh, was that Pac-Man twice? Pac-Man did that twice. (laughs) Twice! (laughs) Pac-Man! He did that shit twice! (laughs) As far as, I guarantee you, look back through the last ten years, and in the first four games of this year... The Bengals have looked like, man, they might do it. And then, yeah. no. <laughs> it's Never every mind. fucking year. Because they always get, because they've always fucking sucked, they always get the top few recruits. The top few recruits are like, oh, pow, pow, pow. And they're trying to pop off and look the best they can. And then 
half of them get put in jail and the other half get released and picked up by other players because they're not team players or blah, blah, blah. This year has been, I, I will agree, this year has looked awesome for them. They're still dealing with, you, you said. Bales. I don't watch them close enough. They're, they're st- they got Andy Dalton, the, the, the fucking 6'3 Ginge. That's, he's been doing great. He's been doing great. But. I watch it close enough to know, but like, if I turn on the game, I'm going to watch them lose, but it's going to be all, all right. I'm just trying to think if it's the Browns or the Clevelands. Uh, Cleveland put on a showing at some point in time during the season, and now I think they suck again. Well, yeah, I agree. Um, what was the one real good receiver? Of the two people the Giants, who are not at all qualified to do a podcast around football, you're looking at them. Hey, it's not around football. I mean, no, but I mean... That's just what we started on. Yeah. I've probably watched... To completion, one game this year, like from stem oh, to stern. I've never watched if that. I've never watched start to finish, I, but I've watched like bits and pieces. Ten, twelve. The one thing that I could get on board with, and I'm not going to pay the price that they want, just because I'm never around on Sunday. Don't they have a like red zone channel or? The last, like it's it's the last two minutes, or if they're inside the twenty yard line or something. It's the red zone. When they get into the red zone, I could if they would combine through. that with it's the last five minutes of the game and it's within you know ten points, you know scoring a field goal. If they would kick to that, like that, I could get I on board with I watching agree. just a second quarter of a game. Usually, unless they're rivals. Anytime the Ravens are playing a rival, I'll I'll sit down and which they've got three Steelers Browns. But even the Ravens, when I first started liking the better, Ravens, it was better when there were murderers playing. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Like think two thousand seven, and think the Ravens can, defense. Can we say Ed Reed, Ray Lewis. Tony Saragusa wasn't a murderer unless you count a Golden Corral fucking buffet because that's a big motherfucker. In 2007, was he still there? Yeah, <laughs> ish. Yeah, I mean, right around it. But dude, they had some fucking. A lot of people said they had some fucking murderers. They legitimately had some murderers. If a wide receiver shoots somebody in the club, fuck off. <laughs> When your middle linebacker fucks some people up, you take notice. We talking about red? Has the Browns won three in a row this late in the season? They'll fuck that up, like guaranteed. Any Hoover. The, 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 the thing about I think it's the Browns. The thing about the Browns is they picked up. Was it fucking Beckham? Well, see, that's what Odell, Odell, Beck, Odell Beckham. Well, he is starting to get to the point where it's like. Well, he's also shot no, not every that. load he could ever imagine to shoot. And what I'm 17 s- fucking kids. Oh, a lot of them do. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is he's, more he's getting to the point where it's... He's getting so outlandish that is he going to make it through the season or get suspended for eight games? No, or? no, no, no. He doesn't do suspended shit. He fucks and has kids. And catches, Pretty sure he does some suspended shit. And catches balls. Pretty sure... If you search Odell Beckham, you're going to see him taking his helmet off and trying to fight people. Well, he didn't hit anybody over the head with a helmet. That's so uh, blown out of fucking... Pr- it was. On it one was. side. Oh, if they would have said both of them are fucking retards and both deserve huge suspensions, yeah. Because old girl from the Steelers was trying to rip old boy's helmet off. Well, he got tried, he so got, the other guy succeeded. That's what happens when there's a superior athlete we're hung out superior. in. Well, we've hung out a couple times, but but in this, capacity, it's been it's been a hot minute, close to a year. Jesus, eight months. You might bring a hanky. 
Just blow it in your sleeve. That's fleece. It'll dry. That's why you buy it. Get right into it. Can I uh, get a copy of this? I just figured you were going to upload it as your I'll podcast. My I'll podcast has three episodes and 17 downloads. And oh. I still pay $20 a month. And have for <laughs> two years. You know how easy it is once you just set it up to do it automatically? Why do you think they set it up that way? Doink. Would you like to set up audit? Would you like to go paperless? That way you don't even know this fucking thing happens Damn. because you get another junk email and you just delete that shit. We should probably combine, if I we should probably combine forces and just pay like twenty bucks a month. Yeah, yeah I'm paying. That's what we did at first, and then you wanted to get. No, I want to get all my own shit. I want to get all my own this, all my own that, all my own this. I want to have my own. Th- yep. And that's what you did. I had that. Yep. I did. I would like to know how much money I would save in a year's time if I just went to the bank and said, hey, I want to close this checking account and open a new one with a new debit card. I guarantee there's $50 a month in shit that just comes out of my account because I've signed up for something, jizzhut.com premium or whatever. I never signed up for jizzhut.com. That's, uh, God, still, that's like a third of what needs to. Yeah. So, <laughs> jizz uh, jizz dot com is a real thing. Which actually, right now is like now? okay, whatever. No, oh, okay. At this day and age, it's like yeah, everything's a fucking website. But back in the day, it was a joke that everybody ha ha ha. This what the fuck? I'm trying How? to join. What the fuck you're doing right now? Join. You just got to go to my fucking Facebook page. You tarred. Where does it say profile? Somewhere here? No. How the fuck? What kind? See? Do you see how fucking hard that was? Is God. That right now? Yeah. That's why it says live. That's what means right now. God damn, you look so skinny. I'm as fat as I've been in five fucking years. Ah, uh, you look spelt. Anyhow. This is such a delay. What? This is communicating to a satellite like in outer fucking space. Like a skinny Steven Seagal. Yeah, you got it going. And older, because he dyes his shit what? black. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me I look like I do? Like you curl that on purpose? No, I, the problem is, there's a little moisture in the day. And it just gets all camped. Please grow up. that thing out until it's down your back. Hey, guess how close I am to cutting it? What? Nothing. Why? I'm not anywhere close to camp. Oh. How do I share how do I share this? You hit the fucking share but Jesus Christ. See, I didn't do that. Do you need the the children's tripod? Ev- Evidently. <clears throat> how do, how do I how do I share this fucking guy? There's a button that says share. I don't do Facebook. Okay. Well, do you do English? Because if you scroll, it's going to say share. Oh, See that? Share. Look at that. It's almost like they built it for mongoloids like I you. you. God <laughs> damn. That's not... Uh, oh, God damn. That's like Messenger. That's like Facebook Messenger. See, Scott signed up for Pornhub Premium and forgot about it. How much money did that take out of your fucking did, bank did account? S- did Scott just say <laughs> not that? not that Scott? Oh shit! I would have said it. Scott Eddie if it was Scott Eddie. <laughs> I gotta get a fucking drink. Hey, why don't you get me a get each of us a Corona? Oh, you want to try something? This is something we could do for the podcast. Sure. Oh, man. let's um. I'm sorry, people. I'm not used to. Running shit on my own. I'm nervous. Why the fuck are you nervous? Because I haven't done this in a very long time. The fuck's it matter? 17 people are going to watch it. Well, according to this, maybe not that many. What are we having? What are we- no, I mean across the span of 12 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's this? It's a uh, Rodler. 
Rattler. Oh, Rattlers? Yeah. Yeah, dude. This one's been sitting in the fridge since Can't hurt June. Him. Can't hurt him. Actually, it may have been in the sunlight for four of those months. How hot. Yeah, what was the high temp yep. this year? It's still go. good. It smells it smells like a delicious. They're not German, but a Rattler is was made for people riding bicycles, like Tour de France style riding. And when they would do their, what we would call here, a, not that distance, but like serious fucking. A luxurious, like brew to brew in What, like Europa. here, people would ride a bike for five fucking miles and post about a 17 time. Well, hopefully they would get to a, another brewery and. This was like. What we would do a poker run here is you ride from this town to that town, go to the bar, or there'd be a pub, blah, 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 drink a little bit and keep moving. Well, you can't drink fucking Belgian beers and then hop on a bicycle. Warm loaves of bread. They're not warm. That's a fucking myth. Uh, you want to go over to a woman's house who's from Germany? She's Americanized. That, that doesn't count. <laughs> No, and ask her about warm. It's they would basically, if I'm remembering right, keep them in the equivalent of a root cellar. So it was like 50 degrees. It's not fucking room temperature like everybody be, assumes. Might as well be room temperature. Do you know what a refrigerator is averaging? Four or five degrees Give to f- up to 40. Give or take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, 40 yeah. versus uh, 50. Hmm. But they're heavy and they're loaf of bready. No, they all fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, That's I not. Agree. No one's gonna be surprised hearing me say that a dark beer fucking sucks. Well, even Scott the... started out with Trulies. I think I had a beer in there. Then now I've had Corona, and now Bacher Radlers or Rodler Rodler. Can I see the Radler? Rodler. Oh, yeah. Bacher. Bah. The Batcher Rattler. It's <laughs> not going to get near close enough for him to see it, though. I've, I've, uh, you can get them at Aldi's or the proper Aldi. Is it Aldi's? But oh, that's, this is the thing with Aldi's, though. It's like almost like the Ollie's of good food shit. Like they, they got what they got. Yeah. They because you, it, they, they will have they Rattler's. They'll buy them once, they'll buy quite a bit of them, but they go real fucking quick. So, Inga got me these. I had four, or no, she got me eight. I drank four, I think, the day she gave them to me. <laughs> drank the other two a couple of days later and saved these two. Well, for the record, I'm going to have one more big drink of this, and the rest of it's yours, because I'm not going to take this deliciousness from you. I've got a whole nother can in there. This makes me want to take a hot piss and run around the building. They're fu- the other thing is they are light in alcohol. My explanation whenever somebody asks me, it's if a light beer met a Gatorade, a good Gatorade. There was a, a American brand that made these. I think it's only 2% alcohol. No, shit, no. It's right. It's built to pound this thing and then get on a bicycle and ride. Mint Ultra is like three point two. This is alcohol by volume, two percent. Well, but damn. Here, I mean, I'm here to tell you which you don't know the ballpark I'm talking from, but you go hop on a riding lawnmower that is three times the price of what you should have for the amount of land you have to mow. You hop on that girl. Light you a Marlboro, red like God intended, and open one of these things, it's fucking heaven. And 95 degrees in August. Hot as fuck, yeah. Yeah. It's It's very grapefruity. Oh, fuck it. Like, if this was non-alcoholic, I'd probably drink a fuck out of it. It basically is. Yeah. It's 2%. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, I can't take these to work. My piss has more alcohol in it. Probably. I can Speaking take, of which... I could take Trulies to work. Speaking of which... Um, there's... Have you ever watched the This Is Not Happening 
Ari Shafir YouTube. Uh, yeah. There's one about a girl. Search the f- the first time I ever drank piss or whatever. It's a good one. Or no, maybe the last the last time I ever drank piss. Because there's... She did a lot. Can we just say drinking piss? Probably. Oh, God. See, even Makes fucking Scott Wexler is telling you how to share shit. Wexler. Any Hoover. I knew that name. He's the, is he the PC guy? Yes. <gasps> How many, that was two years ago? Probably. Look at me not drinking shit away. He said I should just drink this and say fuck you. Okay. I trust you. Thanks, Scott. That was fucking awkward shit. So what's been new in your life? Dude. Oh, yeah, I can't check my phone because it's not in there. Where is it? It's over there. It's what's recording the live. Oh, tits. You How know. else would 12 people watch this in the next decade? You want to log into your phone from my phone? No. Okay. I'm not even sure that's a possible thing. I have, like, topics and random thoughts and shit saved on my phone. I'm willing to bet in the last year plus <clears throat> since we talked about it, you have not meditated once. Erroneous. How's that erroneous? You just gonna let that crony get warm? It's been open for I just, ten minutes. But you gave me a Two percent rattler that made me because we needed to hydrate. I do feel hydrated, I and feel... I need you uh, here directly. There is no I in that word to sample my Mexican beans for tomorrow. I need you, I need you here directly. Um, We are you gonna read your phone? Are you gonna make a podcast? No, I, got, I got distracted. Um, I can't wait to have a beard again. I take only another like, four like fucking you, months. You, yeah, this, stroke. this, no, this is fucking retarded. God damn, it's twice. What? Um, I'm not allowed. Am I supposed to say TikToked? You can say whatever. I, I'll probably say retarded by the end of the night. <gasps> Um, no, I take, I, I, uh, I actually did medit, if you want to call it meditating, I meditated twice with the help of a phone app. Headspace? Uh, it was, uh, was Headspace. It, was, was old girl British or old dude British? <laughs> I have to, I have to look at my phone. But I did, I did, uh, it wanted me to do it in the morning. That's not heads. Yeah, it, it was, it was one of the, I, I, I can't remember which one it was called, but it wanted me to do it in the morning. And the only thing that I found weird about it was it's like, Hey, wake up. And now oh, almost way, go back to sleep. Oh, oh, by the way, relax. <laughs> and I went. This is counterintuitive to what I'm trying to do right now. Like for you, I would say either when you get to work, like in the parking lot, or as you're leaving work. Yeah, I you. would. I would agree with both of those assessments. Uh, Excuse me. I was trying to do. Um, it was not Headspace. There's another real popular one that I was looking at, and as soon as I woke up. And I could like set it with my alarm or just directly after my wake up alarm. And it was like, I'm still laying in bed and it was like, hey, why don't you just chill out and feel all of your extremities and close your eyes and take a couple deep breaths. And I went, "Uh, that's going back to sleep. (laughs) And which I kind of did, which I didn't feel horrible. I just went to work later. (laughs) Um, so I tried it a couple times and then it's like, man, I need to find some other shit. And then, um, never went and looked for other shit. 
<laughs> it would also help if I would move my body any more than like taking a shit or a shower or going to work, which I don't do. Possibly yoga. <clears throat> it's a funny thing. if um, You'll swing that golf club better. If my Irish buddy sees this, I brought up yoga to him like two months ago, and he goes, seriously? I said, yeah. I've really been thinking about doing it. Just for like core and stability and... Doing something more than fucking taking a shit and going to work because that's all I've done for 11 years, which I haven't fucking pursued. And there's also a uh, have you heard about is it called uh, Headspace? Maybe what the fuck? How drunk are you? Continue. Did you say Headspace? Was that your Yeah, that's the meditating thing? app. Okay, I didn't use Headspace. No, 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 no. Better help. It's called Better Help. It's called Better Help. Okay, what's that? Um, See, if we had Madonna headsets, we could go piss and smoke right now. Madonna headsets. Well, we can pause this and... I don't know how the live stream thing works. This may be part in. I do part seven tonight. I, that's, well, I mean... There is a 20-year-old couch here that can accommodate some sleeping. I'm not even talking about sleeping. I'm just talking about talking. Yeah, but I'm saying we can um, get shit house drunk. And you can sleep here. I got vodka in the car. Um, By the way, I tried a new monster today and it sucked. Anyhow, better something. Monster. It's called Better Help. You're not up to date on... Um, the podcast that you and I normally listen to, BetterHelp.com or some shit like that. Um, God damn! See, I can't even smell. I'm pissed oh. off that I spent five dollars and it doesn't smell like anything. What's it smell like? It tastes like. Well, don't taste it. It tastes like a European cleaning the gun just came in my mouth. A European cleaning a gun mm-hmm. came in your mouth. Yep. That's a lot to unpack. Right on the back of my tongue. All right. I took it like a champ. And better spay, better. Better. Oh, shit. Headspace was not the right thing. Better help. Yep. Better help. I want to say it's called better help. I've got I continue. Done. I've got to get another drink or I'm going to piss myself. Does that makes sense to me alone. I haven't done it yet, but uh, at least what I'm talking about is a um, it's a online Oh, there it is. It's an <laughs> It's an online uh, therapy uh, like a like a shrink or a psychologist, psychologist, give or take, whatever. I don't know what they are, but you can connect with them online via Skype or what, you know, yeah. phone call, whatever. Yeah. So is it a meditating deal? Nope. It is literally. I'm Just... gonna talk to someone or. It's the preventative measure <laughs> measure for suck starting a shotgun. Is that what we're saying? Look, I'm not making no, light of it. No, I'm I'm mm. not making light either. I'm just is I'm not it's making a, light it's of a it. It's a app or website to talk to someone rather than for guided like cookie cutter guided assistance. No, you you pay them like a shrink or a psychologist or a shrink um, you pay them and you connect with them <coughs> online and you have a session give or take whatever you want to call it I think that which it started because of capitalism kill a commie for mommy but it's I think it mostly started with dick pills 
and then now has grown into other things because guys didn't want to go to the doctor and say, hey, I can't get a fucking heart anymore. So then, hey, you can go to this website and they'll have a doctor there and the doctor will talk to you and you can go get your fucking blue pill. And now is branching out to other shit, which is a fantastic side of brought to you by capitalism, how to make money. But therapy has been a thing for Ther- yes, years. but get receiving it in this method as in quicker, faster and completely anonymous because how many people would not go to a shrink in Parkersburg versus on your computer in your house no one ever knows. that that's why the dick pill thing probably skyrocketed because hey, I don't want to tell somebody have you ever my regular doctor that have you ever bought a random just to try one out what like an Exxon pill? dick pill like a gas station one I like Rhino against, Horner I've had a CVS dick pill or I've couple. had the name brand shit a like, buddy uh, well, Never through recent months, and a guy at work was like, hey, man, if you can't fucking hang with them young ones, I got the pills for you. Like, well, fuck it. <laughs> hey, I'll I am one of the young ones, motherfucker. I'm fucking 30. <laughs> so you had, you had like a little blue I haven't used Cialis? it. Cialis? It's their you Cialis. Some, they're Cialis. like a peach colored or something. So it's Cialis. They're actually probably right You said it's Cialis. Yeah. Um, I think that's what it is. Just do me a flav and bust it in half at least. Are they that stout? Just take it. I've never had one of the... I've never had a Cialis or a a, a fucking... uh, Viagra? There you go, Viagra. That's an antibiotic. Better be as big as the fucking is or that thing's going to be hard for months. Jesus Christ. Now they're in there somewhere. (laughs) If, if if this thing, if this was a dick pill, not those. You grab the big ones. Sounds like we're playing Williamstown. If if that thing right there was a dick pill, oh you'd have to God. fuck everybody in the county. That's not to yeah. get rid of it. No, because the ones like they're yeah, they're, size of a pencil eraser. It's like uh, it's like taking melatonin. It's it's very. Except I don't think it's supposed to put you to sleep. It may put her to sleep depending on how well you do her. Mm, hey now. Probably won't put her to sleep. Yet. <laughs> uh, no, I've only had like uh, I've not had it. I've not had a real good one like that. Uh, a, like uh, like an he ex- gave me a fistful. <laughs> not a, like seven or eight. I'm guessing. Right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there are seven or eight in a bottle on the premises somewhere. I should give it to him half hard. I just just take, this thumber in there. Just, <laughs> just feeding it in. Listen to the ribs crack as she gets hard. That's right, my goddamn. <laughs> See? <laughs> At least it gets hard. You know how tickled I am right now. Oh, yeah. I know. The only thing, the only thing that I've taken just for shits and giggles was a, uh, uh, like extends. You know, you is know, that shit even real, extends? or is it just? I know it's a real product, and but they sell it at CVS. They also sell. I agree. What the fuck ever at CVS? I agree. Um, you can get some liquid like... Uh, I want something that says on the side of the bottle, if you happen to be so hard that you poke a hole in her, go see a doctor. <laughs> you know what I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Extend says, it's just the fucking greatest shit ever. Or at least that's what the infomercials at four in the morning used to say when I was an insomniac. For the record... Stins is pretty legit. <laughs> How much that was placebo? How much of all of it's placebo? I agree with all of it being a little Pla- bit. Of placebo has double looking. blind, nineteen million studies. Almost curing cancer. Has yes. 
placebo is effective 30 to 40 percent of the time it's crazy and they can even which means that let's say placebo is effective 30 40 percent of the time then they have this $700 $700 a month drug that's effective 60% of the time. And you're paying for it. Well, it's not that much better than placebo. But you're paying for it. So because inside the placebo, adds. you have to account, we well, can't, we have to account for how many people believe it's working versus not believe it's working. That would come into effect with the placebo results. They've even proven that they can tell you it's a placebo. Yeah. You know what a placebo is, and still, and I think that's still, like twenty percent, twenty it to twenty-five. Still fucking works. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's fucking crazy. But <clears throat> I'm telling you right now. But we're all going to hell and going to die and burn for eating fatty foods. Oh, that's it's evil. The worst thing you can ever do. But every was, other podcast we've ever done has somehow come back to keto, so always. I had to like fuck keto. Rope it in. Please eat more soybean and canola oil. Eat all of it. I mean, as far as Darwin's theory goes, shouldn't everything just be like, yeah, if you think it's good, fucking have at it. If you think you should drink Grano, tear <laughs> after it, hand. You eat know, some Tide Pods. We got barbecue flavored. Let's get after it. That'd be hard to turn down. Barbecue if you're over 18, anything. there shouldn't be a warning label on anything. That's also probably true. Anything. If your parents raised you to be a dumb enough fuck that you want to... Drink chemicals? Yeah. Just fucking tear... If you want to take methamphetamines and inject them in your veins, get right after it. Oh. Let's see who can set the record. If you want to ride around in a car without your seatbelt running 140 miles an hour. Yeah, that to me is like, yeah. That makes sense. You should probably put it on a seatbelt. But should there be a law? Right, that, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. Speed limits, yes. Greater, greater good, I can yeah, see the speed limit shit. Um, but God damn it, they're not going to take my fucking guns. All right, I got to piss. I mean, I would really like to smoke and all that and those things. Is there a way to pause all We're of just, this? This is 45 minutes. That's going to be the reunition. That's not a word, but I just trademarked it. TM, copyright. If you use reunition, you owe me 78 cents. I also worked with a guy on the state road for three summers that called it Reuniti. What? The wine, the... I don't even know how the fuck you say it. It's the $6 gallon jug of Reuniti. Some sort of red wine that you could probably only drink with, mixed with 7-Up. Making it shit up. No. Or it, it's a actual... I've, I've seen it. Are you, I... We're not talking Franzia here, but on the same level. Franzia? Isn't that the box wine? The fancy Walmart box wine? It's got the splashy on the box. <laughs> Franzia? No. Pretty sure. I got no fucking clue. Let me giggle it. We staying up all night till brunch? I don't give a fuck. Let's get fucking weird. I've got to pee so fucking bad, though. Okay, then let's pee. And they're not going to slow... Yeah, Franzia. Look at that motherfucker. Tell me oh, you ain't seen... Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Exactly. Franzia. Reunity. Hey, guys. Jake from Evolving Daily. If you're listening to this on my stuff, uh, if it's on YouTube, there's obviously no video because we screwed up the video for this one. The next couple, I think there are. And this podcast, we're not really talking about much gun stuff, just catching up. But it leads into the next two or three drunken podcasts of the night, so 